A Salt Lake City leader has announced today they're trying to get more funding to help solve homelessness. Fox 13 News reporter Mythili Gooby is live at Salt Lake City Hall tonight to explain how the mayor says the city is trying to help Mythili. The state and Salt Lake County already have money going toward an investment to help increase the number of units to house those experiencing homelessness here in our community. Now Salt Lake City is joining in that effort to help accelerate construction. It's up to us to show what kind of wonderful outcomes we can give because of the money that they gave us. Pamela Atkinson has been working with the homeless population in Salt Lake for nearly three decades and is talking about the city's investment in creating more housing solutions. It's the largest single year increase in permanent and transitional housing in the city's history. Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall announced a proposal to finance more than 400 homeless housing units through a $6 million grant. In addition to state and county money, already going toward the initiative. Coming from our CIP, our capital investment program, and their dollars that we have in our budget right now, and we're ready to get them out. Atkinson, who has been very involved in helping the homeless population, says projects like these are crucial because it helps address individual needs of people rather than using a one-size-fits-all approach. Our homeless friends are no different from the general public, and each of them uh, like different type of housing. Now, one person likes the tiny homes, another person likes an apartment. And I think part of our job is to make sure that we get homeless people into the right kind of uh, shelter and apartments that is conducive to them getting better. The concept is for developers to be able to apply for grant money from the fund to build units in their properties for those experiencing homelessness by April 2023, once the winter overflow shelters close. We have service providers, we have housing providers who have identified locations that are already built and so they're adapting them to become permanent housing. Atkinson says every dollar invested and every move made is a step in the right direction to help those in need and get people off the streets. It's the small things that make a difference and a small amount of caring for one homeless person is going to make a huge difference. Once the proposal is in front of Salt Lake City Council, members will review the plan, host public comment sessions, and then formalize it for developers to apply for dollars soon after. Live in downtown Salt Lake, I am Maitiligo B, Fox 13 News, Utah.